Okay, here we have this device that we're going to be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial, we're going to use two totally different methods to recover our device. What are we going to do? Well, first, we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi networks to be able to give it a tour so that you can see that it's completely blocked since it has a screen lock that also has a forgotten Gmail account. What are we going to do? Well, as we said, we had explained. In this video tutorial, we're going to use two totally free tools to be able to recover our device. This tool, we're going to explain to you where you're also going to be able to download it. We'll leave you where the tools are. We'll leave you what the drivers are so that you can uh, do everything. What we always recommend before running the tool. We always recommend temporarily disabling the antivirus because uh, when we run those tools the antivirus detects it in. Will not let you run the tool. It will block it so that it does not allow so that it does not do that. So what we're going to do is the following. Well, the first thing we're going to do is go to what is our PC. Because as we had said in this video tutorial, we are going to use the PC and we're going to what is our antivirus. We are going to run the antivirus and we are going to go here where it says virus and threat protection. We are going to click here. We are going to enter this option that says manage settings. Then we are going to deactivate this first option that appears here. Where it says real-time protection is the one that we are going to deactivate. We are going to say yes, the first option in real-time, we can now close. Now we are going to go to what is our uh. We are going to go to the browser and here in the browser we are going to write. Look, look okay, as it appears here. David Cell, as it appears on the screen with DL at the end. We are going to write in Google and this option will appear. Android TV main, here David Cell will appear, we are going to click on it. We click on our page here it would take us to this section. What are we going to do here? Well, let's go down, let's go down. Here in the last options we will be able to find what this option is that. Says David Cell Apps. If it doesn't appear here, go down more. Here we have several options. We have, uh, on this official page we have many processes. We also have additional videos that you will also be able to enjoy here on this channel. On this page we have several methods. Let's go down. Let's go down here we will find the first tool. We are going to use two tools. But first we are going to use the first one, which would be this one. This one called GSM Prime, since it is the creator of this GSM Prime tool. Well, this would be the first tool. First, we are going to do the first step with this tool. Then we are going to explain the second step with the second tool. We have disabled the antivirus. So what we are going to do is go to the tool where we extracted it. Here they are. How we are going to execute it here, we are going to explain first. We are going to execute it here right click and click run as administrator. Ready. We execute it and this would be the first tool that we are going to use. We have already shown you where you will be able to download what the tool is. And this tool also brings you the drivers, it not only works for the model that we are going to use today but also works for other models. Here are the drivers for those that we are going to use. Is MediaTek, here we are going to download it, here we have the following drivers. Also, that said,
Download the drivers, we go here. We are going to use our model, which is this A05. We are going to select that model. Here we are going to click where it says remove FRP. We are going to click here it says waiting for connection. Ready. What are we going to do first? What we are going to do now is turn off. Our device. We are going to turn it off. We turn it off. When it is off we are going to connect what we have to let 10 seconds pass. When those 10 seconds are up we are going to connect the USB cable. When it shows the charging logo we are going to press the power button. We count 4 seconds and release, we are going to insert the cable. We are going to wait for the charging logo to appear, here 1, 2, 3, 4, release, ready. The PC will sound the PC will sound. We wait, we wait here for the program to do your process. Here this would come out in green as soon as it is successful. To wait, for those people who suddenly do not work. What they have to do after installing what are the drivers is restart it. Restart the device restart it. We are going to wait, this can sometimes take time. In some cases it does not usually take that long. But immediately here it rang again, here it says successful formatting. Here we have already recovered our device. But what happens is that it gives us an image. So to be able to take the image we are going to press. Power button volume down at the same time. We are going to press those two buttons, the PC we are going to wait for it to ring, we hold it. We are not going to disconnect it there the PC is ringing. We can now release it and as you can see here it no longer showed what the logo was. We can now disconnect it, we can now disconnect it. Now what we are going to do is turn it on, but as we had said, we are going to explain the first method first. We are going to explain the first method and now we are going to explain the second method. Let's go step by step, we are going to explain step. Step by step, step step eh, the first method. How do we know that we have already recovered our device, how do we know that? Well well let's wait for it to start. Uh, as you could see at the beginning when we made the video. At the beginning accessibility did not appear but now it is appearing here. That means that if you did the first method, and accessibility appeared it is because it was successful. Now we are going to explain the second method which is even easier than this one. You don't have to do anything, we are going to go to the second method we are also going to explain where you are going to be able to download the tool. For the second tool we also have it right here where it says devgel. As you can see we write devgel in the browser it would take us here android tv. We are going to click on it, then we are going to go down, we go to the same options. We are going to go down here we are going to find this option. That says apps here it is apps and Vazel. we are going to click on it. We click here it would take us here we have several options. We also have what are here other models of. And we are going to go down here we are going to be able to find the second tool. We found the second tool, also here it is. This is the second tool here it seems as you can see that is what it is called. That said we have already done let's run. The tool, here we have the program. What are we going to do, let's right click. Now we're going to click here where it says run as administrator. You always have to run it as administrator. 
You know that in the second tool we also have to do the same operation. You already deactivated the antivirus well. If it's deactivated leave it like that, click next, now we wait. Until the installation starts here it is installing. Now when it finishes installing it will leave us what is an icon, it will leave us an icon. On the desktop and the program would run automatically. Our program will run automatically. When it runs then we will do the following. Here you can see it here it will ask us for this everything will be automatic. If it asks you if you have a new update we will say no. We will leave this as it appears here on the screen. We will click here on login. We click on login here the tool will go. It will open when the tool opens. Here we have many options. We have several options. We have a processor through Qualcomm, Unisoft. We also have other models like Samsung, Xiaomi, Infinite, Lenovo, Nokia, Oppo, Realme, Vivo, Techno, ZT and many more. But hey, we are going to use only the MediaTek that is from our device. Here we are going to use the service, we give it service. Here we are going to give it SERP, ready, we are going to leave it like that. We are going for the second method, we leave it like that. Now our device has to be completely off, we are going to leave it off. When it is completely off that it already vibrates, we are going to count 10 seconds. 10 seconds when those 10 seconds have passed we are going to connect what is our device. Our USB cable off, here in this video. Here in this in this tool we are not going to do anything. We are not going to touch anything, we are only going to introduce the USB cable and the PC has to recognize it. It has to do the whole process. We leave it until it comes out that says FRP successful below. Here this is fast, as you can see here reset already came out. RP here we do not have to touch anything, only the same device. The same tool will turn on our phone. Here it came out successful, if you see that the PC. The same tool will turn on our phone. And when it turns on, what we're going to do is the same. Let's disconnect it and turn it on. We're going to turn on our phone once our phone turns on. What we're going to do now is configure it. But I always recommend watching the video tutorial to the end. This leaves us with some errors. Our device has some errors, and how are we going to correct those errors? On our phone? By watching the video tutorial step by step until the end. Well, you've already logged in. We'll click here where it says to be. We click here on add, we click on add. We are going to click here, now here what we are going to do. If you have a SIM care what you are going to do is remove the SIM card. You click here where it says turn off Wi-Fi, now click next. Now here on skip. We click skip, we click here it says do not copy. We click where it says do not copy, here we are going to click where it says accept, we click skip. We are not going to configure it because as we had told you, our phone has some errors and how do we correct these errors? Well, watching the video tutorial, step by step until the end, we click. Here and as you can see our device is totally ready. How do we correct these errors? We go to settings, we go here to about the phone. We select about the phone, we click where it says reset. Here we click where it says factory reset and we are going to reset it. When it resets our device what we are going to do is the same operation. We remove the SIM car. We click on disconnect Wi-Fi and we configure it so we will have it totally ready. And our phone recovered.
Do you know if our video works for you? Subscribe, activate the bell, like it, share it and leave a powerful comment.